Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. So there's a lot of new Unity 6 features which can help you with performance, rendering and lighting. And I'm going to show you GPU Resident Draw today. I'm going to help you understand what it is, how to set it up, how to exclude specific models from being rendered with GPU Resident Draw, and then some of the debugging modes and some of the best use cases and things to know to get the most out of the feature. And then some of the information on GPU occlusion culling because these two go hand in hand. So ultimately, GPU Resident Draw automatically uses the Batch Render Group API, which draws game objects with GPU instancing. This is to reduce the number of draw calls and frees up CPU processing time so then you can save on performance and make things more smooth. And this works on all platform, including things like mobile. And do remember, this is very much dependent on the scene because the bigger the scene, the larger, the more game objects you have, the more impactful this will have. So if you've got lots of game objects which share the same mesh, these can be grouped up into a single draw call and they can be saved on performance. There is one potential drawback, other than it not really helping you out in your game, is that build times will be longer because Unity compiles all batch renderer group shader variants into your build. So do keep that in mind when you're using it. And I mean, Unity's a Fantasy Kingdom demo. And when I move around, this has an awful lot of models and game objects. And a lot of these models are similar and they're used across this scene. And if you want to enable it, you can go to Edit, Project Settings. And then if you go down to Quality and you will find the Render Pipeline Asset. You can click on this to find it in the inspector or you can right click and just choose properties and then it opens something out for us. Do remember to open up the rendering tab and you will see here it has a GPU resident draw and if you click instance drawing that will technically be enabled but it will bring up a warning if you aren't already you need to enable forward plus as your rendering path or it won't work efficiently. So you can click on the render list here go to the desktop render or whatever render is associated and at the top where it says rendering path set that to forward plus. Then you can see that this is changed. Now you can see this has been enabled. If you look down this corner, I'll put a bigger preview. If we have it disabled, you can see the batches at 4,800 at looking at this current scene. And I put the instance draw, you could say that drops down to 2,000 batches. You can see that batches are around 3,000 when looking at this area. And you can see that FPS ranges from 180 around there on an average. Now, if I enable instance drawing, you can see that batches to reduce to 2000. So we reduce batches by 1000 and FPS has increased by an average of about 20 FPS. We will talk about GPU occlusion calling in a short moment, but I wanted to just touch on some things which may make GPU resin draw a little bit smoother and more performant. So if you navigate to edit project settings, and then if you move to player, if you make sure other settings are opened and then static batching is disabled because that was the original way that Unity would save on performance by batching static objects together. So if that's disabled, you can sometimes save on performance. Then you can also go to window panels and lighting, and you can go to your lighting tab. Then if you scroll down, you can use fixed light map size which suggests that all light maps will be limited to the maximum size that you specify and you can also disable use mipmap limits to be able to make sure that there is can be the same size as the light maps this isn't always relevant to every project but maybe something to help you make this more performant now you might also ask me how do we make sure that are certain objects that we might not want to be used if they're causing issues to be used by GPU resident draw. So let's say we select one of these assets here, a little house down here. If we go to the inspector and you can add a brand new component called disallow GPU driven rendering. And you can also tick the box to apply this to any children that say a parent game object may have. So this means that this object will not be taken into account when doing the GPU resident draw. Now I did say that we'd look at GPU occlusion culling and you'll find that all you need to do to enable this is press the tick box. You will notice that our triangle account moved from over 6 million to as low as 3 million. And if you wanted to understand what the GPU occlusion culling actually does, this actually uses the GPU to use depth textures from the current frame and the previous frame to cull objects. And remember, like I said, GPU occlusion culling works the best if you've got multiple objects using the same mesh. If you've got objects that are in the way of others, which have a high number of vertices and you've got lots of objects which occlude others. So let's say for instance, that we go over to this wall and I disable it. You can see that my triangles are well over 11 million. Now I enable this one. 
and you can see it will be dropped by around half. So you can really save on yourself if you've got lots of occluding objects. Now in Unity 6, there's also a bunch of debuggers which will help you out. If you go to Window and you go to Analysis and then you go to Rendering Debugger, it will bring out a nice pop-up. We can go to GPU Resident Draw and you've got a bunch of tests that you can do mainly for occlusion culling to be able to test how these will look. Now if you enable the occlusion test overlay, you can click on the little tick box and you can see around my scene, you can see these squares that appear and this is classed as a heat map. So the more heat these colors have, the more objects that are occluded. So when something's really red, it's getting rid of a lot of objects. There's quite a lot of objects getting rid of here and the more cooler or blue is the less objects that are getting culled away. So you can actually use this to diagnose parts of your scene, wherever your camera might be looking to decide whereabouts things will be called away just to help you moving around in your scene. So with everything that I've shown here with GP Resident Draw, it's very easy to enable, it's very easy to use and get the benefits, but it can be enabled across all platforms and see if it really helps you. Do comment down below if you think there's anything I've missed out, anything that you want help with, and I'll try my best to answer anything you've got. Do check out all the links below for Unity's $20 sale, all the free assets they've got, and I've made several videos on loads of assets that you can get hold of to save massive for this month. Do be sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Big thank you to all my patrons, special thank you Peter Steiner, Vera Shuther and Jennifer for their amazing support and thank you to everybody else for coming to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.